Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Vermont Catamounts and the New Hampshire Wildcats. Number 33 is an unbelievable player who's been given the reins to take his team to victory. He really makes his man work hard on offense, and he refuses to give up any easy jumpers. The Wildcats will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Wildcats are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Second of all, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. Lastly, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Number four takes the feed. He hits it. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler awesome ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession trying to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside Dickie's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you there appears to be a mismatch in the post it's definitely a mismatch number 23 makes the shot Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two, he nails the shot. That's basic. They look to get it to the inside. Kicks it out. Number 13 with the ball. up for two and he missed watch out the five second count is getting close Brad almost lost a basketball up and inside from the top of the key New Hampshire have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad The center takes the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looks at the three. No good. Number 13 gets the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 23 gets the pass. Great anticipation defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. Stop and pop. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting run. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Dumps it in for the bucket. Another brick, baby. Give it a new arena. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. Unloads. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. to the action. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. On 
the dribble, gives it up, fakes it. Look at these fans, they're loving it. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Gave it up. Nice high post screen. Trying to draw some contact. Top of the circle. Got it. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Trying to go inside. Good fake. Executes the baby hook. Doesn't go. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He fakes the shot. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to take some flight on the defensive end. The shot from the baseline. Great shot. Their defense is absolutely horrible. They are not putting up much of a fight. Dribble gives it up. There's the trap. He's money with the shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Number four steps up to the line. Concentrate. Got to concentrate on that free throw line. Makes the shot. Terry look from three-point land. Great play to take that to the basket. Kicks off the lazy pass. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. He looks at the hoop. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He missed. On the outside. High post screen. And off the mark. Trying to feed inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a high screen. New Hampshire are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He looks for three. He hits the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Hold on, let's see that again. We're 
two. And in and out. The Catamounts have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Double team now, that angle. Look at the student section did, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Isn't it great, Brad? Now the high screen on the dribble gives it up in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Ten seconds and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. New Hampshire are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. That's seven on answer. On the outside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Another look. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Fake. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The push of that basketball, help one another, communicate. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Moving it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the shot off the baseline, way off target. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. The fake, with the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That spin move's not gonna work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Hey, what are these guys going to be? He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. <laughs> the Catamounts will step to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. That's a 7 nothing run. Drips him clean. Number 13 is feeling great right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. On the outside. 
Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Up and inside. Sets a screen for his teammate. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Working around the perimeter. He gets the rejection. Drains the shot. Roll that one back. Frustration right there. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. He takes a three. He misses it. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That spin move's not gonna work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for a good shot. Puts up the jumper. Busts the J. Working it around the perimeter. Got the high pick. Oh, yes. Turns it over. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Look at that spacing. Picked off. 
Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Moving it around the perimeter. Fires away. That's an ill-advised shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Steel, go up the other way, get a layup. some room from way outside way off target that was really a nonchalant pass get that sucker out of the game man <laughs> <laughs> on the dribble gives it up takes away the pass Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. They work it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. From right at the circle. Off the rim and no good. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. With a deep shot from outside. It's good. Opportunity for two for one. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. is dead. He blocks the shot. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. On the dribble. Gives it up. They work the perimeter. Great pressure. Great double team. Really. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. He had to hurry that one. He clangs the three-point attempt. At the half, the Catamounts are trailing by two. Vermont seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big and a bit of hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. From right at the circle. He drains it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Leans in. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. A 
Yeah, Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. From three-point territory, he's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. With a bucket and off the mark. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. Nice fake. The shooting guard takes the pass. He goes for three. Ten on the shot clock. Puts it up, looking for contact. Vermont are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And he missed. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post play. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Turnover City, though, always really negate any offense. Gave it up. For two, he's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. From the top of the key. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. Number one steps to the line for the first time. He sinks it. When I see those types of things, I just get chilled. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Pump thanks. Goes for the deep one. Way off target. There he is. Strips the ball loose. He shoots from downtown. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's a nice 
face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. On the outside. There's the pick. There's the roll. Number 14 with the steal. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Jumped in front to take it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Moving it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Step out on that screener. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they go, into the break. And the slam. Tempo the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Vermont are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 33 picks up the foul. First team foul. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the first. He hits his second. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Second half update on our focus player, Dick, and you can't do it by yourself. I tell you, Brad, he's playing well, but his teammates have to really elevate their game. He has elevated his. He's showing why he's a PT beer. You can't be that aggressive. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. He misses the first. Up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He grabs the board. From right in the circle, sinks the shot. Controlling the ball. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The fans are really 
satisfied with what's taking place out there on the court. What a reaction. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. The Catamounts composure dick is dropping right now. I think they've reached that point, Brad. That's exactly what happens when you get away from playing team basketball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They should have got it through about a second earlier. For the bucket. Up and in. That's a 7-0 run. Well, Dick, you said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X Factor, and they have been that and so much more. He shoots from the top of the key. Makes the shot. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Perfectly executed. This is worth the second look. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Tries for two. New Hampshire have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Shoots. Scorches the net. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Wildcats are up by seven. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. The Wildcats lead by nine. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Rims out. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. They still don't score. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. They'll work it around the arc. And a momentary look from three-point land. Three, three. 
That tight defense forces a five-second call. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. In the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. New Hampshire have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The Catamounts have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. Seconds on the clock. They work the perimeter. Outside jumper. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court did. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. Wide open for the shot. Sinks the shot. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Set that screen away. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Goes up for two. And in and out. Number 30 makes a great move to draw the foul. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. shot is no good and that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight Dick yeah they just haven't looked comfortable from there for the bucket in and out they work it around the perimeter top of the circle great job of freeing himself with the screen but shot will go gave it up Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Working it around the perimeter. Harm and foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'm telling you, we're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Got a nice screen. Takes the pass in the paint. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He pulls down the rebound. 
Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. High post screen. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Laid it on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And they come with a double team to stop it. Ten on the shot clock. Jumped in front to take it away. The center gets the pass. the pass. We've got a timeout, Dick, and I'll be back in a moment. That's a good T.O., baby. Let's get back out on the floor. Throws it up from downtown. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them down. They're in a the groove, baby. And when they're in a the groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. Free throw is good. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They're having a rough time getting it on the drop, lad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. The small forward gets the ball. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. they got to get it going here. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those tricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. New Hampshire blows out their opponent. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.